Hi, I'm Branford Marcellus, here in New Orleans, the birthplace of jazz. This has always been a musical town. The French who founded New Orleans established opera houses and symphony orchestras here. As a port city with an easy attitude toward pleasure in all forms, a lot of other music was played here as well, in particular, Negro music. There were two prominent styles of Negro music toward the end of the 19th century. In the section of uptown New Orleans, populated by freed blacks and the descendants of slaves, the music was often rough and dynamic, a mixture of surviving African culture and homegrown blues, gospel, rags, and marches. Down here in the French Quarter lived the Creoles, lighter-skinned blacks who were classically trained instrumentalists. In antebellum New Orleans, the Creoles spoke French and prided themselves on being co-heirs to French culture, particularly the tradition of French reed playing. As events during and after the Civil War changed the social climate of postbellum New Orleans, Creoles found themselves social outcasts, stigmatized for their heretofore fashionable racial mixture. As a result, Creole and black musicians suddenly found themselves competing for the same jobs, and gradually the two styles began to merge into what we now call jazz. There were no saxophones in jazz back then, but the Creole musicians brought to jazz the reed instrument they knew from classical music, the clarinet. <laughs> ¶¶ 